What's up guys, today I'll show you how to build a very simple yet versatile spy drone. It's in fact so simple that it steers easily like a normal boat and only requires a few blocks, a camera, two boat motors, a servo, and optionally a piston. So you better like and subscribe for more stuff like this. You can attach whatever you want to it for all your spy Perfect. needs. Speaking of which, let's take a look at how stealthy and impressive this thing really is. Helicopter, helicopter. Enemy spotted. What a beautiful day to not be spied on. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Bro, I'm lagging! No, don't steal it. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Bye, have a great time. My house, revenge. Hey, hey, chill, chill. You stupid. Hey, take it easy. I'll get you a much better oh. house. Really? Yeah. He doesn't know that it is actually a death trap. <laughs> wow, Whoa! it looks nice. Thank you. I will take a seat. He needs some milk. What the dog doing? Help me. Help me. You stupid. Huh? I'm the Noah. Fight. Free gold? Yes, 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 yes. Me is going to be very rich. Wonderful. Nice. Take a seat then. Let's go. Okay, now sit in that rocket. Isn't that dynamite? Sit in the rocket. Bruh. Is huh? this safe? Nope. Comment down below what you will be using the spy drone for. So now I will show you step by step how to build the essential drone mechanism for yourself so that you can create your own custom spy drone. Now let's begin by placing down a pole. Now go to your build tool settings and turn off anchor block. Place a block on top of the pole. I personally chose metal. If you have a scale tool, just scale it upwards to a length of eight studs. If you don't, just place three more blocks on top of it. Now around the top part of this beam, we will place two blocks on each side except for the top side. So you should end up with this plus sign up here. This is for making sure our drone doesn't phase through the ground, cause that would be pretty bad wouldn't it? If you want more stability, you can make these arms longer. Now at the bottom we are going to place a servo down here like this and we're going to place a boat motor upon the servo just like this. You're going to place another boat motor on the opposite side and it should be on the same level as the previous motor. Equip your screwdriver tool, select the servo and set its angle to 5. And you're most likely going to need to turn on reverse rotation. Now select everything except for the pole down here and the four little arm bits up here and set their collision to off. Now if you want your drone to fly at a fixed height, you can place a block centered on top of everything like this and then make it as tall as how high you want the drone to fly before building your drone on top of this beam. But you can use a piston instead if you want to control how high it flies. So I'll place a block and a piston on top of it. Now would be a good time to place down a driver's seat to be able to pilot the whole drone. With your binding tool, unlink the piston from the driver's seat and link them again to change the key binds. So pull is to make the drone go down, so I want to do that with the Q key. And push is to go up, so I will assign that to the E key. With your screwdriver tool, select everything except for the piston and the pole down here and make them completely transparent so that they disappear. Build your own custom drone on top of this piston right here. I don't know if you can call that a drone. It's just a sad slab. And attach your camera onto it. And the very last step is to make the piston disappear as well. So make that thing transparent. And now you're almost done. Just save your build, delete the pole, sit in your driver's seat, Press the F key to enter your camera. Use W, A, S, and D to steer the drone. And if you went through the piston method, you can use E and Q to go up and down. Your spy drone is ready to be flown and modified to suit all of your needs. If you found this to be helpful, consider liking this and subscribing for more content like this. Thanks for watching and have a good one.